Meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. And we're taking a little tour of the fountain here in uh, Warren, our downtown camera. Uh, nice to see kind of a summerish look. The people around, the cars going down a dry street, right in front of the Flatiron building. Great, great views for you guys in Warren. And uh, yeah, those of us who have seen the 70s or lived through them and the temperatures the last few days, people say, somebody really asked me, is this fall now? And, and you know. <laughs> it's not on the calendar, and it's not in reality either. There you go, back up in the 80s over the weekend for your pool cast. And if you want to go by the lake, well, yeah, in the next couple of days, there will be a chance for some showers. And with some cooler air, you know, you may even see a morning water spout. But by and large, most of the time, whether you're over lake, and this goes out to five miles, or you're over land, you're going to be... Uh, more dry than wet. One to three foot waves on the near shore waters tomorrow, northeast to east winds 10 to 15. So satellite picture looking at this spin here and that's because there's a little low down there and it's making everything go from east to west in its counterclockwise circulation. So that's a little bit different but you can see you get these zones where there are showers and then you see a lot of the area without showers and we can show you that right here. Erie County north of 90 getting a few in various spots. You drop south of Erie into Crawford County, couple here, Hightown, east of Meadville, and you go east into Warren, the activity is even more sparse as you look out just west of Clarendon there. So that's kind of what's going on, folks. Uh, we get highs close to normal at 79, lows close to normal at 62. Precipitation still averaging a little bit below normal across our area. But what we've got are these spitty spotty showers. Some get them. Most of the time turns out dry. And as you look at temperatures, you know, when you get some clouds, you get a little bit cooler, like uh, Brian in North Harbor Creek. You get some sun, like Dr. Tom Miller, you're a little bit warmer at 80 degrees. And down south, uh, Janet in Cambridge at 73, Joyce in North Meadville at 70. And out east, uh, again, you've got some temperatures that are 76, like Kathy in Youngsville, more cloudiness, 66, Gene in Scandia. Now, the dew points are kind of borderline near 60. They're just flatlining there. So what we've got going, as far as the map is concerned, these areas of showers will continue to try to spin up towards us, but most of the time turns out dry. Eventually, we get a break. And then later in the weekend, as we warm up, we get more showers. So for tonight, again, Lakeshore, spotty. That's the word. You see them mainly in the evening, then that's about it, 70 or 60 to 63 for your lows north of 90. Southern Erie, Crawford, Mercer, Venango, some scattered evening showers possible. Maybe a rumble of thunder. Don't expect a lot of rain. Most of the time is dry with lows 56 to 60. Same thing out east, Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean counties in the mountains mostly cloudy, a chance of evening showers, 53 to 57. So same thing tomorrow, showers in spots, but a lot of rain-free weather. Temperatures back up into the 70s. And uh, Wednesday, maybe an afternoon storm. Thursday and Friday pretty much look dry. We start the warm-up on Friday to 83. And then some shower chances return Saturday, Sunday into Monday uh, with 80s for Sunday and 70s for Monday. So you can uh, track the showers on the uh, interactive radar at yourerie.com, Sean and Jen. It's starting to feel a little bit like fall already. Yes. My sister and I were yeah. out walking last night, and we just both noticed that it's starting. Even when you walk on summer. the weekend, you, you won't feel that cool, <laughs> just so coming you know. Up, coming up.